Hello everyone, welcome you all in my YouTube channel Engineering Guru 2020. In this video, you will learn how to do the S lesson diagram. In previous video, already we covered how to do space diagram and plus diagram. In this video, we are going to solve one graphical problem for S lesson diagram. So here. Uh, this is the one problem here the four bar chain ABCD AD is fixed 150 mm long the crank AB is 40 mm long rotated at 120 rpm link CD 80 mm oscillate about D BC and AD are equal length the acceleration diagram for crank AB has angular velocity 10 radian per second angular acceleration 30 radian per second square so here our goal is to find the angular velocity of link CD, angular velocity of link BC, angular velocity of link CD when the angle is given BAD equal to 60 degree. So first focus what will you what value will be given? So here length of AD equal to BC equal to 150, AB equal to 40 mm is given, CD 80 mm, NBA this is the RPM is given 120 RPM angle BAD 60 degree so angular velocity of B with respect to A equal to 2 pi n by 60 here the NBA value is given 120 so from this we can find omega BA equal to 12.56 radian per seconds for accelerations omega BA equal to 10 radian per seconds and alpha BA equal to 30 mm per second square. Now, uh, this is the space diagram and this is the velocity diagram. So here, this is the link to draw uh, to learn how to draw space diagram and velocity diagram that already we covered. In this video, we are only focused how to draw velocity diagram. So, let's start with the assessment diagram. So, take uh, one random point that is. A1 dash D1 dash this is for acceleration diagram and this is for the fixed link point. Uh, so since uh, A and D are the fixed points therefore these points will lie at one, one place in this acceleration diagram. Now the radial component of the acceleration of B with respect to A and that is A means this is the radial component of B with respect to A, we already we already covered that V equal to R omega. So from this we can find the V square B A divided by B A. We already find the value of V B A equal to 0 0.503 divided by the length of B A. So here the value is given 40 mm so convert into meter. So that's why here this is the point. 0, 04 meter. So from this we can find the radial component of BA. This is uh, 6.32 meter per second square. So for this we are assuming one scale 6.32 meter per second square equal to 10 centimeter. So 1 centimeter equal to 0.63 meter per second square. Since the uh, A and D are fixed points therefore this point R will lies at one place in the assessment diagram though the vector a1x a1x to parallel ab so here this is the link ab so draw parallel line like this and this is the radial component and this is the a1x line so we already assume the scale uh, 6.32 meter per second square equal to 10 centimeter means this line length equal to 10 centimeter so this is the radial component. If the uh, link in, link is in uh, motion conditions, not fixed, then that have two components: one radial and another one is tangential. Now, find how to find the tangential component. Tangential component of the acceleration of B with respect to A, A T. T means tangential component. B A equal to alpha B A into B A. Alpha BA value is already given that is 30 and BA this is length of BA 
equal to 0 0.04 means the tangential component value 1.2 meter 1.2 meter per second squared. Now, uh, how to draw tangential components? Tangential components in every case we have to draw perpendicular line to the radial component. Means here uh, this is the radial component. So draw 90 degree for 1.9 centimeter line. This is for uh, tangential component. Try try to convert uh, this 1.2 meter per second square according to this given uh, assume scale. So from this you can find this value is 1.9 centimeter. So from this you can get uh, this point. Uh, b b dash now join the this a dash b dash uh, this is to call acceleration of point b so from the measurement you will get that the value 10.2 centimeter now uh, this is for link number a b now uh, consider this link b c so first find the radial component vcb equal to v square cb divided by cb so we already find this value from the previous video this is 0 0.182 whole square divided by length of bc this is 0 0.15 from this you can find the value of arcb equal to 0 0.222 meter per second square so convert this value according to our scale in centimeter Th uh, 6.32 meter per second square equal to 1 centimeter means 0.22 meter per second square means how much so you can get the value in centimeter so uh, from this link draw the uh, parallel line like this this is the radial component of this link bc and that length equal to 0.3 centimeter as per this value now from this y draw the vector this is a tangential component at cb whose magnitude is unknown so simply uh, draw this line remaining final link that is link cd for the radial component find the arcd equal to v square cd divided by cd so v uh, vcd that value 0 0.38 we already find in previous previous video and the length 80 mm so you can find the rebel component of this particular link equal to 1.81 meter per second square so for the radial component draw this parallel line from the point d so from this value that convert into centimeter means that value equal to 2.9 centimeter and this is the radial component of the c with respect to d uh, this uh, d dash z is represent the radial component of c with respect to d now for the tangential component from this z point draw perpendicular line from this z point so this is the tangential component of c with respect to d so earlier tangential component that is tangential component of c with respect to b and tangential c with respect to d it will be intersect here and this point is called point C dash. Now join this point, join this point C dash D dash, and that value equal to six centimeter. So measurable value equal to six centimeter. Now join this. Uh, this is the acceleration of point C, or we can say acceleration of C with respect to point D. Now join this B dash C dash point. So measurable value equal to 8 centimeter and this is the acceleration of B with respect to point C. Find the acceleration of C that is ACD by the measurement we find that the acceleration of point C with respect to D equal to AC equal to vector D dash C dash equal to 6 centimeter into scale that is 0.36 so from this we can find the acceleration of c equal to 3.79 meter per second square so we achieved our first goal now the angular acceleration of dc equal to acceleration of into alpha dc equal to 
CD tangential component divided by CD. So tangential component into scale divided by length. So from this we can find the angular acceleration of DC equal to 41.12 radian per second square. Now angular acceleration of BC uh, equal to uh, uh, tangential component of BC divided by BC. So uh, tangential component BC equal to 7.8 centimeter into scale divided by length. So from this we can get the final value 30 32.87 radian per second square. Uh, this is the graphical method to find the acceleration value. So in this video is uh, so in earlier video and in this video we cover whole the problem uh, including space diagram, velocity diagram and acceleration diagram. I hope this video will very helpful in this exam. So if you find my video very helpful you can like, comment, share and subscribe and you can also join us our telegram channel engineering guru 2020. So stay on this channel, more video will become, thank you.